I'm done. Are you done? You ain't got those new wheels on yet? Those look so good. Oh man, so excited. This is my first built engine. Today, today is a big, big day. You know, over the past few months, or several, we've been waiting patiently, and I know all of you guys have been too, for an engine to show up. Today is that day our friends at RPG have come through. In the next couple of videos, guys, subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss it. Something very special that we're gonna be putting inside of my 2019 Mustang GT. The twin turbo kit is gone, for all of you that do not know. Uh, it will never come back, at least not the kit that was on the car. And uh, the form of boost is gonna be something uh, interesting. I think that you guys are really going to dig it. And I'm certainly excited to be able to toy around with it and see, push the capabilities of what we're doing. Some of you guys already know, but if you don't, go ahead and leave your guesses down below in the comments. Let me know what you think. It is out for delivery. I got the notification, I'm so excited. This is a built motor by RPG. They are supposed to be the best in the business. That is why I chose to go that route. But when you see this engine, when it gets delivered and we go through it, I give you all the specs and details. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised on the direction of what we did, of what we chose to go with and why. She is. Oh yes. Okay, here we go. All right, where do I want to start? Here we go. What? This. This is beautiful. Everything is brand, brand new. Very expensive. Very expensive engine here. Alright. There we go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What do you think? Look, it's all brand, like, even the timing cover and everything is all brand new. They didn't reuse nothing. That's awesome. It's all brand freaking new. It looks good. Oh my gosh. What you think? Very nice. Yeah. I like it. I'm ready to go find I like this too. They actually plugged oh, the name for it yet? So yeah, you picked the name Project Alice. Yeah, I think is the, what we're gonna call the heart of this thing. Built by Project Alice, built by RPG. Yeah. In the Red Queen. In the, in the Red Queen is what we're calling the car. Whole new adventure, whole new direction of the build. Oh. Ooh, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. The good gaskets. Yeah. So. ARP goodies everywhere. What else we got? Probably no way the camera's gonna pick this up. Maybe a little bit of redness in there. It's a shame we can't see all the goodies underneath. Later. Some new wheels about to get mounted. Some new hotness. Listen to that. Oh, I can't wait. That one. BMP, Whipple, Pro Charger. They love the boost. They love the boost. That's going to lead us into uh, the second half of this video. Here we are days later, and look what we have behind us. So in the truck, we have our new RPG engine. I've been turning some wrenches on it on the stand over the last couple of days. We're missing a lot of parts. When we picked up the car in Texas, it was missing 
quite a few things. The shop owner has been helping me out to get some of the parts back, but uh, we have come out of pocket. We had to come out of pocket a little bit to get the rest of it. But you know, you know, it's just part of the uphill climb battle to get the car back on track and ready to go. But so excited that this thing, this 1400 horsepower capable engine is, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's talk about the specs. Let me pull it up on my phone and tell you what we got inside of this scrumptious 5.2 man I'm so excited all right let's do it we're still using the gen 3 coyote heads um and you know it's going to be important because uh it is a 2019 mustang gt so let me hop up here we'll talk. all right look at this and here's a dead giveaway what we're doing guys if you don't already know look at the pulley combination here the new setup and that should point the direction that should really give away what we're doing with this engine so much more accessories here going on but uh yeah guys i'm excited so all right let's talk about what's in this bad boy let's go when the engine got taken out i really wanted to come out at that time you know it's kind of a long backstory but you know here we are moving forward but there was a, a couple of avenues of approach that we were going to take new direction on the build. We didn't know if we were going to do a sleeve motor or a 5.0 rods piston, some kind of weird combination of, of we didn't know at the time. What we settled on was a something cool, something unique. You know, I've been hyping it up in the videos over the past few uh, that we were going to do something a little bit different and not really seen on YouTube yet. There are plenty of 5.2s running around built by RPG and uh, other brands, other manufacturers, other engine builders as well. But uh, the form of boost that we're gonna put on top of this engine, if you guys don't know yet, well, that will be revealed in the next video and I think it's gonna be very exciting. But the pulley combination should honestly give it away. But as far as what's in this engine, here we go. So it's got a Gen 3 5.2 block, so the Gen 3 Voodoo or the GT500 Predator block is what it is, which is really cool because, you know, it's going to be a little bit different. We're doing a 5.2 swap, essentially, but it's going to act like a Super Coyote because we're using the Gen 3 Coyote crank and we're still using the Gen 3 heads. So this is, in a sense, a 1,400 horsepower budget build. And when I mean budget, we didn't sacrifice on parts. It's just we didn't go for O-rings and stuff like that because I'm not chasing 1,500 horsepower. I've always wanted was a fast street car, and that's what we're gonna go back to, is something a little bit more relatable to everybody out there that watches. Nine out of 10 people will buy superchargers. And, uh, well there, I'm kind of giving it away. But that's kind of what we're going back to is a very fast, capable street strip car. Going back to the roots, uh, if you will. Um, and then we've got uh, brand new Gen 3 Coyote heads, brand new cams. We stayed stock cams because they just work so well for the performance and everything. Again, we could have made it more spicy, but I decided not to. What else did we do? ARP throughout the entire engine, bolts, everything is ARP, of course. Uh, and then we go into the goodies on the inside. So, you know, of course, the better Cometa gaskets on the inside of it, all the goodies. So we've got brand new crank, you know, fully prepped. Everything is, uh, you know, honed, balanced, hot tanked, you know, the whole nine yards from, you know, a, a, a good engine builder like RPG. Uh, Manly Extreme Series Pistons, uh, 3.7. Zero zeros. We're staying with the stock 12 to 1 compression. Mainly Pro Series I beam connecting rods. Of course, ARP 2000 bolts. Clevite coated main and rod coated bearings. Uh, total seal package ring set. ARP main stud kit with ARP side bolts. Uh, complete short block. Uh, basically, spec to competition level of performance, which is. Uh, Something that we're going to be doing a little bit of, of course. AccuFab secondary timing chain sets. The billet timing chain guides. So it's a nice, pretty billet. So something a little bit more, you know, compatible for, e, you know, long-term E85 use. We've got upgraded tensioners in this engine. GT350, the heavy-duty tensioners. Something I think is much needed. And the chains themselves are GT350. And there is a difference between... Coyote and GT350. The 350 has like these teeth that come out of it. It's really cool. Looks like it's going to bite really hard, so we should have no issues. We use the pack springs that I had before for valve springs. I already had them. They transferred over. Of course, it's you know head studded and all that. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's about it in a nutshell without going line by line everything down. So I'm, it, it's it's a it's a very good, I think, capable 1400 horsepower engine, and that's all that I ever really wanted is something around there. I'm not going to be probably taking it to anywhere close to that level, you know, for, I don't know. I, you know, the car's been down so long, I just want to get it back on the road and enjoy it. And then we'll turn it up as, you know, time progresses and see what the capabilities, you know, of this engine are going to, what we can get out of it. And I think quite a bit. I mean, 1,400 horsepower, guys, that's quite a bit. And uh, as a street strip car, I think that uh, this is all that we're really ever going to need honestly so i mean it only takes remember about 900 950 horsepower to run in the eights the high eights out of an s550 and we're going to be way above that so i'm, I'm really excited but now what we're going to do is transport this guy this brand new engine to the shop we're in a ford shop now but we're going to take it to the uh, car's location and if you haven't seen the car's condition right now it's going to be upsetting to some but just remember this light at the end of the tunnel, and we'll cover all of this in the next few videos, what you're going to be seeing. But guys, this is it. This is the new, new RPG built 1400 horsepower engine. I'm so excited. Big shout out to those guys, by the way. Um, you know, I've been in constant communication with Will, the engine builder, really nice guy. And uh, if you need an engine built, they do some saucy stuff. So definitely hit them up. Tell them that I sent you and they will take care of you. But RPG is one of the proven out there. I mean, one of the, the honestly, the, the, the guy's brilliant at what he does. Uh, every RPG engine that I've ever seen performs top notch. This and this one I'm sure will too. So, all right, that's gonna wrap up this video for now. Stay tuned to the next one because we're gonna be unveiling the boost. Also, we're gonna be putting it into the car finally that is the plan to drop it on the new k member from bmr we were running the new new everything in this car is getting replaced and upgraded or changed so the car is going to look different when we're all done it's going to it's going to perform different we have all new parts going in it's uh, kind of a really cool reversal of the direction that we were going but in a new improved direction i would say so guys thank you for watching Look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, because get ready. Big things are coming, and I appreciate all of you guys out there watching. Until next time, I'll see all of you later. Stay safe and have a great day. God bless. I'm done. Are you done? You ain't got those new wheels on yet? Oh, man, so excited. I'm so excited. It's a shame that it's all covered up. You can't see the goodies underneath. This is my first built engine. Also, half inch bigger than your friends. Those look so good. Guys, go check out Cooler 731. See what those look like on that.